Yeah, at least it'll be dry for any cleanup that needs to happen today. But if you're spending a lot of time outdoors, it's going to be warm and muggy heat index values close to 90. So uh, it may be tough for some time in the afternoon, but we don't have to dodge the storms until tomorrow. The plan over the next 12 hours looks like this. We've got plenty of sun, at least in the morning, but some fair weather clouds mixing in in the afternoon. Air temperature is rising quickly through the 70s into the mid and upper 80s later today. Now we will have a little wildfire smoke in the sky, but this is mostly in the sky, not necessarily near the ground. So even though it may look hazy this afternoon in northern New York, northern Vermont, we're not expecting any big impact to air quality. And you'll see that most of the smoke is gone as we think about tomorrow morning because the storm system that comes in will basically push it right out of here. Now, in terms of the dew point, the measure of humidity in the atmosphere, it's still muggy all the way through Friday, but we're still watching Saturday into Sunday for that big drop in the dew points and much more comfortable air that sticks around for most of the upcoming week. So get set for that. Quiet on Storm Tracker this morning. No rain to tell you about as we get this Wednesday underway. It's fairly comfortable with temperatures in the 60s for most of us, close to 70 in Burlington, but down to 55 in Saranac Lake. Touch of humidity in the air right now with dew points in the low 60s, but they'll climb a few more degrees as we go through the afternoon. Future cast is dry for Wednesday, but look at what happens about this time tomorrow morning. Showers and storms are already arriving in the North Country. Could be pretty stormy through the morning, but in terms of the severe weather threat tomorrow, it comes from a line that forms in the afternoon. And I know it looks a little bit messy here around noon, but you'll see as we go towards about 2-3 o'clock, there is a line that comes into southern Vermont with some damaging wind gusts and small hail. That timeline is likely between 3 o'clock and 6 o'clock in the evening. There could be some storms farther to the north, but again, in terms of the damaging thunderstorm potential, it's going to be in this yellow shaded area, basically south of Rutland and Lebanon towards Brattleboro. I would plan for some impacts, perhaps plan to lose power in those locations, but farther to the north, even though the severe risk is a little bit lower, we will have the risk for some locally strong thunderstorms. So impact weather tomorrow, few storms on Friday and Saturday as well, but again, the weekend and beyond, Looking real nice with uh, plenty of sunshine and temperatures in the 70s for several days. Of course, we've got the Governor's Cup tomorrow at Thunder Road. All eyes on the forecast for that. Marissa, what can you tell us about the forecast in Barrie? Yes, Ben, as you mentioned, we are going to be tracking a line of showers and storms whipping through our area, especially into the afternoon hours. So widespread storms expected at 430 in the afternoon. Temperatures in the 70s and it will be humid, but by the time race starts, there will be storms still in the vicinity. So still a question mark for tomorrow. We will have to fine tune those details, but Clinton County Fair day two kicks off today. Megan Maroney has a performance at 7 p.m. tonight. Temperatures this afternoon in the mid 70s and not cooling off all that much by the time this evening comes around. If you're heading down to the lake to cool off a little bit breezy, close to 15 knots in a few of our Bay areas and water temperature at 75 degrees. Back to you.